Welcome, Crusaders, and thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Well, it's been a while since I've been able to uh, get on and play, so I have to kind of catch up with where I was at. I think I wanted to see what's in the jewelry artisan here. I don't think we've been in there. And then I just noticed that we have foreign autumn haze here. So check these two things out. And then I think we're just looking through our uh, quest. We've got this attack out of nowhere. Find out how the demons are sneaking into crusader territory. And we've got one objective left here, exploring the molten scar. So I don't know where that is. We might go take a look at the map and see if that is nearby if that's something we can get to and maybe uh, check that out otherwise we'll uh, see what else maybe is closer that we could deal with let's see what this jewelry artisan has for us gold golem in here don't see any actual like merchant welcome to welcome to the shop of Derek sunhammer the finest jewelry in all of mendev True artistry, crafted by the master himself and his apprentices. Take a look. Okay, so he's gonna tend the shop. I wonder where the uh, jeweler is. Derek Sunhammer's jewelry. It doesn't have any. Interesting. You can buy it for 2,500 <laughs> and then sell it to a merchant? Huh. It has the same like look and shape of the Natural armor amulets. Doesn't say it has any effect. Kind of want to buy it just to find out. Huh. 25,000. We've got quite a bit of gold here at the moment. Um, geez, I don't know. This could be a gigantic waste. But it's there. Okay. <laughs> Guess we're buying that. Uh, oh, yeah, we can sell it back for six thousand. Oh, is that just stupid? Let's look at that. It doesn't. You can't even equip it. Is it? We can't even equip it. Where'd it go? It's just in here? <laughs> okay, uh, I don't want to waste that much gold on that. There's, We're just going to reload. I, was there autosave when we entered? Oh, no. Well, we haven't really done anything. Okay, well, somebody can tell me if we should go back and buy that amulet. for. Don't tell me why, but if it's worth buying it, just tell me that. Otherwise, we're going to save our 25 grand. Let's talk to Foreign Autumn Haze. Uh, nothing new here. Kalesa hasn't... Or you haven't found Kalesa yet, I guess. Alright, I think that's it. We're in here. We're going to head to the exit. I wish there was a quick way. I guess we could... We could rest, which would put us back in here and then we can quickly leave from there. I don't... Guess we can just walk to the exit. Okay. Well, I think this is going to be our party for now. This group. We'll see. I, I could actually see now swapping out Lon for any of these guys if we need them for a, a quest or something. But we're going to see how this goes for now. Okay, so what was this place called? Molten Scar. We'll see if that's anything. Uh, it's pretty close, actually. Can't tell, though, if we get there from here or from somewhere else. Kind of looks like we might have to come at it from over here. I don't know. I guess we'll maybe go down here and check out this node. If we do have to go this way, we probably have to get through this demon army first. So we got a random encounter here with some 
Babau rotaries. I don't think we've seen these before. This is, I think, the first. Yeah, this is our first fight with Arusula with us. So we'll see uh, how this goes. It's got this cool, at least it seems cool to me, Chameleon Stride Raider. That ring is actually not. It's closer than I thought it would seem. 10 feet is not not super far let's just try this oh I just noticed we got a minotaur right behind us move her up a little bit is that gonna get it doesn't really get everybody could do something else spike growth Entanglement, Stone Call. Uh, or we could just get her personal buff on. Um, also got the Feather Step Mass, which seemed to, like we could use that in, in combination with stuff like this, I think. Then we'd be able to move through it at normal speed. Same with Stone Call. So I actually just use her uh, hurricane bow. Let's get a buff on since nobody has any buffs on since we ran into this random encounter. Oh, we had a shadow demon over here. Uh, we oh, we just took a bunch of stab damage. Great. Okay. Well, that was uh, pretty easy, except for this phantasmal web now that everybody's caught in. Okay, well, this did not get us to Molten Scar, but it did get us to Winter Sun, a small village that somehow survived the demon invasion. It's surprisingly silent and peaceful, as though it lies in some remote rustic setting far from the front lines and not in the middle of the world wound, surrounded by monsters. Find the missing crusaders quest. Let's, where's that? It must be an objective for something else. Hmm. I don't see anything there. Maybe is this a new, I don't know. Let's check out winter sun since we're here. Oh, wait, what? Primitive altar. We've got stuff appearing. I guess we. Here we go. Winter Sun. Let's see what this is. I didn't see any quest involving this. Maybe, maybe the marker there. Maybe this is a a new quest. I don't know. I didn't see anything involving missing crusaders. Maybe we've heard about that and I just forgot. Regardless, I guess we'll see what we find here. Okay, this looks like a rather large area. Got a knowledge arcana check here. Plants withered. The blight has consumed certain plants. Some magic is protecting the area and preventing the decay from spreading. Suppose we should probably get buffed up here. Kind of forgot that we gave Lon this Triceratops statuette. Probably should just go ahead and pull that out every day. If we're uh, doing something. The goddess protects us. Okay. It started to take a long time to get all of our buffs put on. I know there's like mods that'll do that for us, but I don't think I want to risk anything happening with the game. I do actually enjoy using mods with other games, but when I'm doing this... Uh, recording, I, I don't want to add any potential uh, things that could corrupt our game or otherwise ruin things for us. Smilodon here. Uh, we can probably we stand. handle that, can't we? 
We'll see how, how some uh, real time goes here. These beasts. Coming after Lawn. Oh, now he's getting Ember. Alright, this one Smilodon came in and wrecked us. So we've got a Something dead horse here. Well, this didn't go. Horse died relatively well. recently. Yeah, this looks like a pretty large area. I hear growling. Oh, we got bear cubs. Oh no! Man, you're so awesome, looks like man. the bear was killed using magic and ice magic at that. Okay. Well, knowing that, we do have some protection from energy. Uh, maybe we just go ahead with some uh, protection from cold. Might as well. Uh, blighted Treant. Godspeed. Okay. My will is resolute. Lawn, let's let's hit him. You've crossed the wrong they will break against our resolve. They just attacking this rock? Or is there something else over there? The roots of the Probably should use the point blank. Let's first uh, do the hurricane bow, though. Hit him at the instrument of freedom, Zeke. Ooh, nice. The animation on that's really cool. Ember. Move up here. So seal. Move up here. Then we'll get Sela and Aegis in here. Smite. Right, get in there. Guide my blade. Bismuth. The Triceratops. That's cool. Okay, Amber. Uh, we try a uh, slumber. Immune. Yeah, I don't suppose it. A tree really needs. Be gone, fiend. Sleep. Does it? Okay. One tree ant. Less. So not sure what it was doing up here. We're heading back south here. So if we missed anything, either side, we could can we get up here? Doesn't look like it. Let's carefully cross this little stream. Aha. Statue is decorated with a runic script. Enough. The inscription in Hallet, the language of old Sarkora, says, May you be forever joyful, Lady of the Sun. Someone brings flowers to the statue regularly. Some bouquets are dry, others are a little wilted, and one is fresh. Aha. Final sunset of winter. So we must have that quest. I just didn't... Oh, right here. Okay, find the missing crusaders. Yeah, I just looked over, overlooked that, I guess. Soldiers from the patrol troop are dead. Their bodies were discovered in a valley south of Dresden in some kind of shrine. By all accounts, it looks like the soldiers were killed as a sacrifice. There seems to be a settlement nearby. Answers and the killers may be found there. Blood and charring almost conceal the heraldic symbols of the crusade on the dead man's armor, but they can still be made out. We can, can we go either direction here? It's this. Our path leads on. Got demons heading away from us. Is not an there we go. Nice slumber there from Ember. Get that bap out of sleep. Bismuth, get over here. We're getting quite the collection of animal followers. Got a bear, horse, triceratops. Got that 
gross fox thing, wherever it is. And then, uh, then we also have like a cat or something. I don't know if Zeke even has that out. They're all wanting to come after Ember, looks like. Can't have that. I really think I like this, this group. The one thing I really miss is haste. What happened to the... Uh... Oh, there he is. He's up there. Calavicus. Oh, there. Speaking of ha haste... Well, I'm hesitant, but I think we could probably just kill these things. Switch over to real time here and just finish them off. Oh, jeez. As a... Wow. Scratch that idea. Let's see if we can get her back up with Breath of Life so we don't have the death door issue. Make every strike count. Probably, we should have done that knowing they were all, uh, they all aggroed on Ember. We went to real time and they just murder. It was dumb. Oh no. Jeez. Well, the last stand saved Sosil there from those attacks of opportunity. Jeez. This just went south quickly. Thought this was going to be a pretty easy. Turned out not to be. Ember, I don't think you better try standing up. We got our own attack of opportunity there. Let's finish these off, and then we're going to have to get healed up. Jeez. Poor Ember. Just took a beating. And they don't like Sosiel now, either. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. We've still got one sleeping pap out here. So we can take care of the others and then kill that one. Alright, let's see if Sela can coup de grace this one. Finish him. Good. Amber is now in bad shape. Okay, well, we definitely could have handled that better. Uh, need to uh, control our overconfidence here, I think. So, we could also go up this direction, it looks like. So, over here. Anything else this way? Go down here. Oh, we got a giant nest up there. Some sort of a ritual area here. Brazen whip. While this item is active, all creatures summoned by the wearer get one extra attack per round. However, the wearer is under this slow spell effect. Oh. Indecipherable ranting from a specter. I will see this through. I guess we can't talk to him. Alright. This is like a puzzle or something. Got glyphs on these stones. We got a Sleeping Smilodon, maybe? Godspeed. Looks like they're asleep. Are we in trouble yet? Uh, let's... Okay. Sila, go to stealth. stealth but I'll try. We will win this uh, he just... A bright future awaits We have to stealth us. him separately too. There. I will help where I can. 
Let's see if she can get... Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna try to sneak up on him. I should have tried. We were all grouped up. I should have tried the uh, chameleon stride. Let's try to charge in here. It'd be great to take out the specter before it gets another turn and starts draining levels from us. All right, one Smilodon down. Well, he's just casting buffs Destiny, so far. Guide my hand. All right, let's just deal with the Smilodon and then we'll work on the Spectre. Okay, Smilodon's down. We just got nasty Spectre here to deal with. We do have Death Ward, I think, on Sela and Aegis. Draining levels from our Triceratops. I, will resist. I guess if we had to pick... Although I'd rather have him just attacking or trying to do that to uh, Sela since she has the death ward on. No glory without risk. Yeah. Uh, this thing is really hard to hit. You won't survive me. Go ahead and get aspect of the Falcon on Arusula. Should have done that earlier. This thing is pain to take down. That's it for uh, Bismuth. Prepare yourself. Oh boy! All right, we're just gonna go to real time. See if we can eventually kill this thing before it drains all the levels from everybody. Zeke's taken several. Come on. Alright, let's, let's move him out of there. Okay, we finally killed the Spectre, but jeez. If we're going to be facing a bunch of those here in this area, that's going to be a pain. We've got a cave up here. Probably full of more Spectres. Huh. Oh boy. Well, we better check it out. Oh. Morveg. You see a young crusader from the Everbright Crusaders. Commander, my name is Morveg. You might remember me. Or my mentor, Chiar. Thank the gods you're here. I need help. An old temple of Gorum is here in this cave. I've come here for a weapon, a powerful weapon. It's a sword, and it's stored down there. Master Chiar would never agree to use it. That's why I came here without him. Believe me, this relic will be very useful for fighting demons, but I can't get it alone. I need your help. Are you all right? You notice the young man's pale and sweating face, but his voice is firm. I'm all right, Commander. Don't worry about me. What kind of weapon are you looking for? It's called the Fang of Malice. It is a sword devoted to Gorum. A long time ago, in the times of Sarkoris, his shrine used to stand here. The Fang is the perfect weapon. With it, the Crusaders will be invincible. Invincible, you say? Why do you need my help? There's a demon up ahead, a huge and horrible creature who I could never defeat by myself. The, be the beast gobbled up my guide in one go. Help me kill the monster. Your faith makes demons draw back in fear. You have nothing to fear here. And then your mythic power. Everything points to you being the hero everyone has been waiting for. How did you come to know of this place? The young man proudly juts out his chin. I am a Kelid. This place used to belong to my family. Or rather, my family took care of this shrine of Gorum. We were a clan of warriors. When we had to flee, we passed the memory of this shrine down through generations. Mothers would whisper to their babes the magic words to bring the lost relic back, so that those children wouldn't forget those words even on their deathbed. Of course, I didn't know where exactly to look for the temple. I hired a guide, 
The demon finished him off in a split second, and I had to retreat in disgrace. All right, I'll kill the demon. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. I am not strong enough for this fight. May Gorum bless you with his power. Morveg holds his talisman tightly, a straw wolf figure. He closes his eyes and begins to chant. Rumgur, Bar, Todan, Kar, Kurum, Lak. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I guess th that was a legitimate prayer. I thought he was going to like transform into the demon or something. Awful. Let us press on. All right, we had a, a journal thing pop up. Slay the demon in the cave. All right. This is a different quest altogether. We have multiple we have multiple quests here this location. I guess. All right. Vengeance of Sarkoris. There's just so much it's hard for me to keep track. I, I can't remember all of this. Especially uh, since my time has been so limited to be able to even play the game that enough time goes by in between times I play that I don't remember things from one, one session to the next. If you read all the admonitions, seek the reward in the heart of stone. Seek the reward in the heart of stone. Our path leads on. Okay, if we're walking into a demon of some kind, let's... We've still got that cold protection for one more minute. We haven't needed that so far. Let's, let's do some protection from evil. Just make sure we have that on. And... Let's... Let's use this while we're all here. Chameleon stride. Does that give everybody like? I thought it was it was some kind of a concealment. I, I don't know if we have to stay within range of her for that. Arachne Devastator. Godspeed. Is that all? I was expecting something uh bigger. Lon, hit, hit this thing. Ember, how about you just put this thing to sleep? Right off the bat. Nice. Well, that's gonna help. I don't know if this is the demon or just a demon on our way to the demon. Can we reach for coup de grace? No. Alright, we'll just get in there. Oh, he's back up. So we already hit it with the restless slumber. Is that only a once a day thing? Yeah. But can we do the regular slumber now? We can. Let's try that. No. Let's get a smite on here. And we just cannot hit this thing. Just miss after miss. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. There we go. It's a little bit of damage from Lawn. Alright, we finished it off with the instrument of freedom. We got something else coming. Oh here's uh, what's his name? You defeated him. Follow me, the temple's very near. Vengeance of Sarkoris. Follow Morvag into the Temple of Gorum. Oh, wow. Okay. What was back here first? What was that shirt? Elemental imbuement. Whenever the wearer of this robe suffers elemental damage, for the next round, any spell cast by the wearer, if it deals the same kind of elemental damage, deals plus two damage per dice rolled. Oh, that is super specific. I don't see that coming into play very often. What's this? Amulet. Mighty Fists. Plus one. I mean, we could put that shirt on like Ember or something. If she gets hit with fire, then it would boost her fire, but that is like... I don't know. That's not happening very often. 
This is the law of our bloody temple. Rejoice, Gorham, when our blood runs over the stones. I guess it would make sense. Like, oh, she's already got it. Isn't that the slot, though, for the shirt? Yeah. Already got the robe with the spell penetration. I, I don't think we swapped that out for a shirt that's not going to help us very often. Oh, he grew. <laughs> and what's going on here, buddy? Rumgar Bar, Toten Kar, Goram Lag. The young man takes the black sword. His body trembles. Morveg's muscles bulge. They are growing, bulking like froth in a boiling pot. You see a horrible wound on his stomach that the young man was obviously hiding from you. Now it is a gaping, bleeding hole filled with arm-thick snakes, his intestines. Morveg's voice is deep, animal-like. The fang of malice, the weapon of those who live by war. The weapon blessed by Gorum. The fang will make its owner a deadly almost invincible warrior that hungers for battle. A warrior who won't retreat, betray, or desert, for battle will become their reason for living. Man becomes weapon. Tiar would say such a transformation is a sin. He doesn't understand. But you will. You will understand what a powerful weapon I'm giving to you. I will show you its power. Prepare to fight. Even now, dying, weak, I am invincible. Rormger, Bar, Todankar. The giant points the black sword at you. Arushala, stop, warrior. Do you think you don't fear death? You simply don't know what it is you should be afraid of. What if you succeed and kill an innocent person? What if you win? Believe me, that is a far worse fate than death. Zila, boy, have you decided to die a hero? Have you thought about that fact? That one of us will have to go see your guardian, Shiar, and tell him that you died fighting against your own side? Did you stop to think that the old man might not be able to bear the news? Did you think about anything at all? You said something in the Kelid tongue. What does it mean? This is the language of Sarkoris. Two will enter, one will leave. That's what priests of Gorham used to say when they entered the shrine. Then they conducted a solemn rite and fought to death for his glory. Today we too will please Gorham with fierce battle. Come on, you're wounded. I'll help you. The lad gives you a grim smile. Too late. A piece of the Darachne stinger is stuck deep in my guts. It's oozing poison. Only skilled healer priests in Dresden can take it out, but I won't make it to the city. Anyway, it's alright. I'm a Kelid. I'm a warrior. I'm not afraid of dying. Wait, I'll try to help you. There must be a way. I will heal you. Abandoning his usual restraint, Socio looks at Morveg with torment in his eyes as if his insides are the ones currently being eaten away by the terrible demonic poison. I don't need your help. Keep your charms for your comrades. They will need them after I face them in combat. Lon, you've made up your mind, yeah? I can see it in your eyes. You're going to see this through to the very end. You've got guts, kid. I'll give you that. People like you, they don't know how to stop. Morveg forces a nod. Yeah, I've made up my mind. What is this sword? This is the Fang of Malice. The one who takes it into battle will be devoted to war forever. The sword increases the powers of its owner and banishes other thoughts from their mind. Only anger and a desire to fight remain forever. The owner of the Fang will never return home. He will look for more and more battles. Gorham's power comes through the sword, turning the warrior into his servant, invincible and mighty. Can you imagine the good this weapon could do in the war against the world wound? How about a dozen of them? They forged a lot of them in Sarkoris. You just have to find similar temples and arm your crusaders with them. You've lured me here. Why? First, I just wanted to bring the fang to you in Dresden, but I almost died to my fight with the demon and resigned myself to my fate. But then you came. What a stroke of luck. Madness gleams in Morveg's eyes. I will show you what the Fang of Malice is capable of. You are the commander. You must understand that our war is more important than foolish prejudice. Defeating demons is worth any sacrifice. I won't fight you. A wild bear's roar comes out of the lad's chest. Gorum! Yeah, I don't think we're going to have a choice about this. Stand with me. Uh, hey, so how about a vine trap? That'd be handy. 
Nope. Kind of used up a lot of stuff in that demon fight before this. All right, let's get Sela and Aegis in here. Uh, we could use... Oh, uh, he's not evil, though. Challenge evil. It's, it's chaotic neutral. Into the fray. So a lot of HP. Arusula. Oh, instant enemy. So I guess that turns him into... Like, we get the favored enemy bonus against... Yeah, as if it were a favored enemy for all purposes. That's pretty nice. Let's get the... Uh, still got the aspect of the Falcon. Actually, she has, still has pretty much everything on. Just attack. Make your Ouch. Oh my goodness. Sela. <laughs> Boy, having the last stand on her is pretty big think that's why she's not dead yeah even though she got knocked knocked down wow Bowser's. can we uh, put him to sleep we're not gonna be able to withstand much more of that um boy this could be pretty bad let's use the duality of conjuration <laughs> Maybe for some distraction. Nice, we got a Nabasu, a group of Nabasus. Could be helpful. Nice, yeah. Keep him busy. I'm hesitant to get Zeke in there too close. If he gets wrecked, we'll be done. Probably gonna have to though. See that? Uh, I don't think we stand up yet. You'll just get knocked right back down. Oh yeah, the Ranger's bond. The Ranger forms a bond with his companions. The bond allows him to spend a move action to grant half his favored enemy bonus against a single target of the appropriate type to all allies within 30 feet. Yeah, we definitely need that. Although, oh, that's not gonna help though against this, is it? That would only be against what or like magic demons. All right, so that was probably kind of a waste. Oh. I will resist. Wow. Well, I guess. <laughs> and as long as that doesn't kill her, because if he wants to do that, fine. Boy, can we do anything? Let's see what fire does. Scorching Ray. Not bad. Uh, I think we can use the Holy Smite on him. Just neutral. We need these Nabasus to do some work for us. Nice. They've pretty much <laughs> done most of the damage for us here. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think we send Zeke in there anywhere close. We could even use the tankard. Uh, could use the Order's Wrath. That's... Uh, we're going to hit our own people with that. Well, we got the Litany of Eloquence on him, I think. So now you can't do anything. Nice. I'm surprised that that spell actually was useful. Actually, we Sela could have stood up. Shoot. Yourself. All right. Okay. <laughs> now do we have to, f to kill these Nabasu that we summoned? The giant drops to one knee. Heavily, something dark, throbbing, and disgustingly alive falls out of the wound in his stomach. My wound is too deep. I'm dying. But you saw what I was capable of, even on the verge of death. Many such weapons were made in Sargoras. The Fang of Malice, 
The fang of despair, envy, suffering, futility, all of them are interconnected. Just as warriors in a unit are tied by the bonds of brotherhood. Take my sword and give it to the priests. Their prophecy will point you to the other fangs. Arm your crusaders with them and victory will be yours. A tiny object slips out of the giant's hand. A little straw wolf. Give this to Siar and tell him I did everything I could. I hope he can forgive me. Convulsions racking Morveg's body indicate that the end is near. Zosil's face is terrifying to behold. His features are twisted in a grimace of monstrous pain. He forces out each word slowly, one by one. Damn you, Gorum. Another pure soul that you have besmirched with blood and doomed to untold suffering. Ember looks at Morveg with a radiant, soothing smile. Don't worry, it will all pass soon. You won't be in pain anymore. Is there anything you want me to do for you? The young man grimaces. I'm a little scared. Can you sing me a song? The one my mother sang to me? The whistle of the bowstring calls the vultures to the feast. Do you know it? Ember shakes her head sorrowfully. No, I don't know it. I'm sorry. It's a song about war, right? I don't know many songs about war. Uh, well... You did your duty. Your death will be a paving stone on the road that leads us to defeating the demons. Avenge us. Avenge Sarkoris. Avenge our ancestors. Our deaths. Our humiliation. Our poverty. Destroy these beasts. All of them. The fury raging in the young man's eyes fades slowly. Fades slowly. His body goes limp. Oh, we leveled up. Sweet. The altar of Gorham, the god of battle, radiates an aura of unrelenting fury, which even the world wound has failed to dampen after all these years. Okay. We're going to stop here. Next time we're, we'll level up. We'll check out this altar and see what else we've got in this room before we head back out and check out the rest of this area. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it and hope to see you again here with me next time. Bye-bye.